Today's leg of the trip was from Kansas City to Weatherford, Oklahoma. I have the benefit of retrospect because I'm taping this after the fact. We started out the day a little bit late because we had some family stuff to do, there was church, had to have lunch, so we really didn't get on the road till about 1.30 p.m. That limited how far we could get, so we got about 420 miles. The other complication is that we now have five people and two cars. So mostly this day consisted of driving, charging, food, and repeat. Now our 2015 Tesla has free lifetime supercharging, which is great, but as an older Tesla, the charging is a little bit slower than the modern Teslas. One artifact I found right away was that every time I plugged in, the charging estimate time immediately jumped up by five minutes. So if the estimate said 20 minutes when I approached the supercharger, as soon as I plugged in, it would say 25 minutes. The next thing we noticed out west is that the types of supercharger stops are much different. In the Midwest, we tend to have a lot of Meyer and Hy-Vee type grocery stores. As soon as we got into Kansas, we had stops like Applebee's. There was a strip mall with a tractor supply. In Oklahoma City, it was at a full-fledged mall. But fortunately, there was a gas station travel stop nearby. And the next thing we noticed is that there were a lot of superchargers that were combined with Holiday Inn Expresses. And if you're just stopping, that's really not that great. I mean, they're usually pretty cool about letting you go in and use the restroom and get a cup of coffee and stuff. But what's really nice is if you do want to stop there, you have a supercharger for the evening charge and for topping up in the morning. And that's what we found in Weatherford, Oklahoma, where we stopped for the night. So while today wasn't a super exciting travel day, here are a few impressions from the road. One hour later, 